This time on Scott's Garage, we're going to give this entertainment center a little bit of love. Okay, so this entertainment center uh, has been with us for probably more than 20 years now. It was uh, back in the day when you had a big, uh, thick TV, <laughs> a big tube that extend back in the back. Nowadays, not so much. Most of the TVs are flat. And so the big giant entertainment center like this is not that um, useful anymore. So the uh, TV is a 55 inch Sony Bravia. And uh, I don't know if you can see this little Velcro thing up here, but this is a 3D TV. And uh, back in the day when 3D was gonna be something huge, and that was like a little sensor that you Velcroed on the top of the TV. Then you had glasses and you could watch 3D programs. And uh, we did that a few times. It was kind of cool, but really the only 3D movie that we had was the one that came with the TV. Other than that, 3D kind of went by the wayside and uh, never really used the 3D feature anymore. So that's kind of sad, but still it's kind of a good TV. Uh, Sony, so it still works pretty well, but at some time I'd like to get, you know, 75 inch or bigger TV in here, but for right now this will work just fine. These are the glasses that that you put on for the 3D, and you have to put, I think, two of those round like watch batteries in here. They're not rechargeable. You have to replace these like 3032 or whatever those watch batteries are it takes two of them and it lasts about a half an hour and then you have to replace them the batteries again <laughs> you have to buy them by the gross just to just to look at this thing so another thing that i wanted to do in here is i have like a cd player and a stereo and some big giant speakers one here and one over here we don't really use this uh we don't really play music or anything it doesn't really connect with the antenna very well, so we can't really get like over the air stations. We don't really play CDs. If we want to listen to music, we'd probably just turn on YouTube and play it right from there. So we don't really need that. I like to get rid of the, that, uh, the CD player, the tuner, and these speakers and kind of bring the whole thing together a little bit, make it a little bit more compact. So that's the next thing I want to do is, you know, clean the whole thing. I got to take out these fake plants, clean it. Just clean the whole unit. And if we look in the back here, we can see the rat's nest that is all of these uh, cords and everything that I'd like to clean up. Then finally, the last thing I want to do is something that uh, I've been to do since we moved in. We moved in and I just sort of put it up here. And if you can see in here, there's a, an old thermostat housing, which sticks out a couple of inches. I would like to uh, take that off and uh, putty it over. So this whole unit can go back just, you know, about an inch and a half or so, a little bit closer to the wall and uh, patch up that hole. So those are all the things we need to do today. Uh, I have my trusty assistant here, ready and willing. Ready to go, Willie? We're going to fix that? All right, let's go. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is just kind of take off all the pictures and everything, take everything down and uh, kind of look at it a bit and see what we've got to work with. Okay, and we can probably take these out back and uh, wash them, spray them off with the hose bit. <laughs> Look at this. Emily's birthday mix 2013. Wonder what's on there. Wow, this thing is really heavy. Holy cow. I have the top part loosened, just sort of sitting up there. I wanted to remove it, but it's really too heavy for me to move by myself. But here is uh, some of the dirt that's been accumulating over the years. And you have something really impossible to move. 
you don't clean behind it very much. And there is our th old thermostat original from 1962. So we're going to remove that and patch that hole. And of course, we're going to clean all down here. Of course. All right, so let's see what this says. Pioneer. Okay, Honeywell. Comfort range. They had it set. That's funny. Uh, it's still basically telling the temperature. And then you just set it at whatever temperature you want. And there you go. Comfy as can be. All right, so I don't know what we should do with this thing once we're done. It's kind of an antique. I've got an idea. Let's toss it in the trash. All right, now we're just going to spackle this thing up, and it should be good as new. Cleaned up all the dust bunnies and wiped it all down with some simple green and uh, patched up the holes. So this is all ready to go back together. Looking pretty good. Just got to center that up and put this all back together. So I think what I'm going to try to do here is kind of start with the center. This is the center piece. I'm going to find the center of it and mark it. Then I'm going to find the center of the mall, the, the mall, the wall and mark it. Okay, I got all three parts pushed up against the the wall and the distance side to side there should be just enough for the TV. My measurements are correct. And it's pretty much flat up against the wall. They're not sticking out a couple of inches anymore. And so let's just uh, pull these things out. Put those there and then we'll put a few screws in uh, in the top there to hold it together and then I think we'll be good I got all the lights working up here and up here and uh, there we go right. we have the upper shelf in place looks good hey that looks a lot better I like that well done I think that's great no more space sticking out we filled the wall, got all the lights turned on, got rid of a bunch of stuff we didn't need, and cleaned everything up really nicely. So I'm really happy with the way that came out, and hope you enjoyed watching this video. And we'll see you next time on Scott's Garage. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.